Okay, Algebra 1, Lesson 22. This one is on review of numerical and algebraic expressions, then statements and sentences, and then conditional equations. All that to say, we'll just get to it in a little bit of time. Okay, um, if you were to see me say A is 4, okay, I'm just going to review something with you real quick. You're learning about different algebraic expressions as well as numerical expressions. And I'm going to explain to you what I mean by that real quick. Now, they just wanted me to review this with you. This is something that you've done for years. So let's just review it real quick. This is just a numerical expression, 4. <laughs> this one equals 9. It's a numerical expression, 6 plus 3 equals 9. This one you can do 2 plus 3 is 5, and then 5 times 4 is 20, all right? And then on this one, 8 plus 4 is 12, and 12 times 7 is 84, divided by 5 plus 2 is 7, and 84 divided by 7 is 12, okay? So that's how we would do those, but let's look at them with value, different values, like when we add letters into it. Um, to make them algebraic expressions. For example, um, E, F, G, and H. So those last ones all had numbers. These ones are going to have letters. Um, well, the first one doesn't, but I'll explain that in a minute. So X plus 4, X squared minus 6, and then X, X plus 4. Now, they want us to pretend that X has the value of 3. Okay. okay? So if 3 were here, then what would the answer be? Seven. Seven. If three were here, three times three is nine minus six. Three. Three. And then if I had a three here and a three here. Twenty-one. Seven plus four is, uh, or three plus four is seven, and then seven times three is twenty-one. Okay? So, regardless, you're still going to come to a no numeric answer, okay? But, excuse me, you're just changing the x's around, okay? Um, to equal something and then add it. Okay, they just wanted me to review that with you. Okay, now let's talk about statements and sentences. For example, the number of peaches equals the number of ap apples. So, the number of peaches equals the number of apples. That's how you would state it mathematically. Or, some people like to put number of peaches and number of apples like that instead of P and A. Okay? But they're both saying that this equals this. The next statement says the number of peaches does not equal the number of apples. The number of peaches does not equal the number of apples. This is just learning how to write it mathematically. Um, the number of peaches is greater than the number of apples. The number of peaches is greater than the number of apples. And then the number of peaches is less than the number of apples. Okay, so just as simple as that is, they're just trying to teach you how to write it mathematically. Okay? Now, uh, the third part of the lesson is on conditional equations. So I'm going to put five equations up here, and we're going to decide if they're true or false. Um, A, 4 equals 3 plus 1. 3 plus 1 is 4, and 4 is 4. Does 4 equal 4? True. Yes. I'm going to put T for true. B. 4 plus X equals 2 plus 2 plus X. Now, what do you want X to be? Let's just put a number in there. 3. 3. 3 and 3. Does 4 plus 3, well, that equals 7, does that equal 2 plus 2 plus 3? Yes. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 3 is 7. Does this one equal, is this one true or false? True. True. C. All right. C is 4 equals 6. Negative. Not true. False. Okay. Pretty simple. <laughs> some of these are and some of them aren't. Well, all of them pretty much seem to be. Okay. So, 4 plus X equals... 6 plus x. Well, we have to choose the same x. So if we chose 3, does 4 plus 3 equal the same thing as 6 plus 3? False. 
7, 9. 7 does not equal 9. False. Okay? See how we're making them true or false? Yep. All right. We just got to, um, I think one more. Yes, one more. X plus 4 equals 8. Now, this one could kind of be true or false. Okay? Because if I put a 3 in here, that equals 7, and that does not equal 8. If you put a 4 in there. But if you put a 4 in there, 4 plus 4 equals 8, and that equals 8. So you have to say that this one is true. Okay? So um, this one would be considered a, a conditional, conditional equation because it's only true in certain conditions. under certain conditions. If that x was a 3, it would not be true. So this one you would say is conditional equation instead of true or false. Okay? So, do you understand it? Uh, All right. Yeah. Now... All right, here's what they say. Does negative 2 or positive 5 satisfy this equation? And I'm going to give you the, the equation. x squared equals negative 5x minus 6. Now, what they're wanting you to do is for x, we're going to put a, a negative 2 or a 5. So let's start with negative 2 for our x's, okay? We're wondering if this or this satisfies the equation, okay? So let's put negative 2 where all of our, actually I'm going to put parentheses, remember how we do that? Because that's important, okay? So let's put a negative 2 here, 4, and then a negative 2 here. So this would be negative 2 times negative 2 since it's squared, which would give us what? Positive, positive 4. Very good. Now let's do this problem. Let's do the multiplying first. Negative 5 times negative 2 makes positive 10. Positive 10. And 10 minus 6 is 4. 4. Does negative 2 satisfy this equation? Yes. Yes. So negative 2 does. Let's see if 5 does. Does 5 satisfy the equation? 5 and 5. 5 squared is? 10. Almost. Or 25. <laughs> I can't tell you how many people do that, okay? And then, negative 5 times 5 is? Negative 25. Negative 25 minus 6 Nine. plus a negative 6. Or it's 31. 31. Negative 31. Does, does 5 satisfy this equation? No. No. Negative 2 does, okay? So you would tell me that negative 2 satisfies the equation because 4 equals 4 on the last one, okay? All right, let's do last one. Again, this is does negative 2 or 5 satisfy the equation? And here, um, x squared minus 3x equals 10. <laughs> now, um, because we are doing... You see how that answer is not here? We're not doing this equals another one with an x. This one just is the answer 10. Mm -hmm. So let's try to figure it out. Let's put a negative 2 into this spot and a negative 2 in this spot. We'll try 5 in a minute. Okay? So following PEMDAS, let's do this. Negative 2 times negative 2 makes positive 4. Positive four. And 3 times negative 2 makes negative six. negative 6. And this is a minus, so I'm going to make it a plus positive. And 4 plus 6 is 10. 10, 10 equals 10. Yes, this is true. It does work. Um, now let's try 5. Okay, 5 squared is 25. 25. 3 times 5 is 15. 25 minus 15 is 10, and 10 equals 10. Truth. They both satisfy the answer on that one. So you would just say both, negative 2 and 5, satisfy this equation. That's how you would answer that. Okay? And that is lesson 22.